got a pretty funny story to tell you. You see, a couple of hundred years ago, well actually it was just last Tuesday actually, there was there was a council of nine, you see, and they they presided over the entire known world, and they they was very good. Well actually they was very bad. They was an a a oligarchy of some bad people. Now, now the members of this council were in order from greatest to least. The the first one was was called Harriet. Now, now you see Harriet. Harriet was very bad. She was very bad. She thought she could be the Lord and Master of the universe. And this this one gonna fly. You see. There were some people, some people who didn't like that. Specifically, member no, number two, who was, who was named Sephiroth. Now, now, Sephiroth was a counselor. He was a man of the busiest kind of busy business. And he was well aware that being the most powerful being in the universe, he had to, um, um, conjugate. Yes, yes, conjugate. The, um, the... The, the Death Disruptor Raid. Oh, no, no, that's not correct. What I meant to say was, was Sephiroth was quite, quite peeved that Harriet was the Lord and Master of the Universe. Plus, she knew that she was having an affair with Rufio. Yes, you heard me, Rufio. Therefore, Sephiroth took it upon himself to go snowboarding with his excellent chatty of a friend, Yagi! Yagi was the man! He thought that everything was cool! I'm balling! Now, Sephiroth kind of had a conundrum, because though he wanted to get rid of Harriet, he only had one way. The only way to get rid of Harriet was to build a particle accelerator. But the only person smart enough to build a particle accelerator was a star. Now, now, Asteroth was made a few words. Actually, he only really talked about killing people and spilling the guts like worms and stuff. And how he didn't like that Maxi character with the nunchakus. The only person who could keep him in line, the only person who could keep him from, you know, randomly killing people was a fella by the name of Massimoon Date. Cause that kid, he had a lot of gifts. One of them was two sticks. He was training Asteroth to be the best of his Thai boxing class. Astaroth needed to be number one in the special double hefty overweight class for people who couldn't kick so good. But it didn't really matter because Thai people are kind of crazy. They let you do whatever you want. Like, you know, carrying big hammers and ripping people's faces off and telling that guy his shoes untied and then poking his eyes out. Mashmu Date was a prodigy. Man, he was like a fighting woe goblin. But he was only seven years old and we needed a keeper. The only person who could keep him in line and stuff was this guy by the name of Vermilion. Vermilion was a total badass. He could probably shoot a bagel out of the sky and then shoot the ground up from under it and shoot it a couple of more times before it fell back down. Well, Vermilion was a very cool guy because his hair was silver or red, kind of depending on the costume you picked, you know, whether or not you press square or X when you were selecting him. But, you see, that's beside the point. The point is, he couldn't speak that well. He was kind of, couldn't talk good. Always saying things like, yeah, and shh, yeah. You see, he was very unintelligible, and that is why he got along so well with Astaroth and his pet, the robotic T-Lex that ate cars, automobiles, vehicles, you know. Vermilion knew that the only way to get a Big Mac was to get a very fast automobile. And the only man with the fastest automobile in the universe is Mr. Mootsy. <laughs> Mr. Mootsy had very good experience with driving. But one time he flipped a school bus full of children and it blew up. But after that he decided the bus was too safe for him. He decided he was going to live dangerously. And he got the first Mustang in the entire U.S. Maybe even in the state of Mississippi. He could get it from 0 to 60 in, um, a while. He talked about how he was, he was a man who, who... No one really likes Mr. Mootsy. Another member of the council was Dura Dura Duragon C. Makai.
Duragon was one of the coolest men ever. He was almost as powerful as Sephiroth. He had the most awesome bum rush attack. He was like... Kind of like Baraka, you know, or E-Honda. Or maybe even Tom Brokaw. And he's got the cool permanent tattoo of a dragon on his back. And that crazy motto that says, Fight for the sake of fighting, you muskrat! Or possum! Or lunatic Pandora! Probably, seriously, maybe the most powerful of the council. He could pick somebody up and throw them very far. Very far. Maybe a hundred yards. Maybe even a mile. He was a mountain of a man. He used rattlesnakes for tandems and drove a muscle car. A boss Mustang.